Dan Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Forest River Vibe 25 RKS. The RK, of course, stands for a rear kitchen model. As you can see, you have a ton of prep space here. Super slide off to the side really opens this camper up. Yeah, the seamless countertops here are wonderful. Not only are they gorgeous, but it also allows for an undermount sink. So you will see, see the large kind of farm style undermount stainless steel bowl there. High rise faucet has a very industrial look to it. You see this right here, you get a drying rack you can put across. So this gives you additional prep space as well as a place to put some of your dishes as they're drying. Big window right here too. You have to certainly love this. It does give you kind of a view to the tail end of your campsite, but it lets in a ton of natural light during the day. Plus you have another one right here in the back. You also see kind of the decorative backsplash back here. It looks pretty nice. LED lights throughout. Of course you have them in the kitchen here helping to make things a little bit brighter at night. Storage all the way across the top. You'll see it's almost like a oil rub bronze. They're almost close to like a matte black finish on the pulls. Pretty neat, uh, pretty neat, sorry, something you don't see a lot in the RV industry. Most of them are brushed nickel or stainless. I like that they kind of went with something a little bit different here. Very decorative pattern on the glass right here as well. Open that up for you so you can see the storage. You'll see that you have a shelf that is uh, already built in. Cubby hole right over to the side here, you know, if you want to throw like some spices up there. Obviously, once you get to your destination, you don't want to while you travel, they'll be everywhere. But it is nice that at least you have that extra storage space. Microwave right up top here, as well as the hood right underneath. Very modern stainless appliances. Uh, we drop down a little bit further. You'll see the recessed cooktop. So again, with the glass cover, you can utilize all this as prep space too. This, of course, folds up and back just like so, revealing those three burners right up top. Oven underneath, if you want to do some baking, this gives you the ability to do so. You do have a light on there too. If you want to light in your oven, you can see that. Kind of lights these guys up and then turns the oven light on right underneath is a big drawer. It's, this is really cool because a lot of times you get one or the other, right? You either get the drawer in lieu of the oven or you have the oven. I like the fact that they gave you the big drawer underneath and everything kind of matches. It makes it a little more cohesive. If we take a look underneath the sink for the storage, you'll see the top drawer there has the uh, flatware divider, larger drawers or deeper drawers rather right underneath that. And underneath the sink, there is plenty of room for a trash can. You can see they actually give you one, so that way you don't have to go out and try to find one that fits. You already have one that comes with the RV. The Everchill uh, Compressor Refrigerator. This is fantastic. Runs very, very well. Cools off nice and quick. You'll see that you have the big crisper drawer right down below. Of course, the freezer up top. And again, uh, it's part of that stainless suite of appliances. Over here to the side is the Super Slide. You'll have the dinette, can easily sit four people here. I'll take a seat just to kind of show you, you know, the amount of space. So as you can see, plenty of room for four people to have a meal, play a game together. The table does drop down into a bed, so you get that additional sleeping space if you need it. And you will also see, let me get out here to pull these out, but on both sides, you have these massive drawers. Now, they're not on glides or anything, so you know, you do basically uh, lift it up a little bit to pull it out. Same thing to push it back in, and that way it kind of locks back in place. But these are absolutely massive, so a ton of uh, storage, and it's pretty easy to access. As long as you don't put anything super heavy in there, it'll work great. Right over to the side, as I mentioned, is this sofa. This is a tri-fold sofa. You can see the cushion right back here. This is kind of what the guest will get to sleep on. Uh, it is more comfortable than your traditional pullout where you have like a bar on your back or an air mattress that deflates on you. And it's probably the best seat in the house because they can sit right here and folks straight across the way is a 50 inch TV. That is huge for this size RV. Generally, you don't get your 50 inch TVs to get into some of the, big, the bigger fifth wheels, but you can definitely see it from the dinette or the sofa here. I certainly love that. Right underneath is your multimedia center. This is a DVD player if you want to watch a movie. Speakers on both sides. It is Bluetooth capable and it controls both the speakers in here as well as the ones outside. Open that up for you just to give you an idea of the storage you're working with underneath. But much more importantly is the storage right back here. Take a look at that. You have this huge pantry space right here. So you can fit all of your dry goods in there. The, the shelves don't come all the way forward either. So if you want a place to put like a broom or a vacuum cleaner, you have enough room you can actually put it in there, which again is something that's pretty rare in most travel trailers. Uh, making our way back forward a little bit here, you'll see the thermostat right outside the bathroom. As we step into the bathroom, right here is your foot flush lever toilet. So I'll take a seat in here just to kind of give you an idea of space. I do have plenty of room for my legs, but it's definitely tight on my shoulders. Now I'm, I'm fairly broad in the shoulders, but I'm definitely hitting back here. 
you know I'm kind of hitting in the back as well so it is a little bit tighter in this space. You will see that your toilet paper holder is right off here to the side and then where my shoulder is rubbing up against is a big linen closet so it's probably a good trade-off you know they, they could have made this a little bit smaller probably and gave you a little more room but uh, you know having the, that big linen closet is great because it does give you a place to put your towels and everything else. Right here is the shower, Neo Angle shower. You'll see that the doors are on a roller track. That way all the water goes right down the door into the shower pan on like a curtain where a lot of times it ends up on the floor. And I'll stand in here to give you an idea of size. So I'm six foot, folks. You can see I have plenty of space, even more with the skylight. Even if you're six four, six five, you can probably still shower in here without having to hunker down as long as you're underneath the skylight there. Hand wand, of course, makes it easier. Some shelves in there too. Coming, uh, right outside here, you will see that you have this organizer right there, a mirror underneath. You have your hand towel ring, electrical outlet, of course, your uh, sink top here, and then some additional storage space underneath as well as plumbing access. One of the things you'll notice right away when you step into the bedroom is the beautiful bed here. You'll see that it is a Denver mattress. By RV standards, I would say this mattress is probably more comfortable than most of them out there. Uh, so definitely, you know, if you get a chance, you're out here checking it out, you definitely want to lay on there and uh, judge for yourself. Underneath, you'll see you have storage bins as well as a little bit of storage behind that even. So these bins you can obviously pull out, you know, just from right underneath the bed. Or if you want to, you can lift it up like I am right now to get in there. But I uh, just kind of want to show you, you do have some good storage. Uh, and it's organized right underneath the bed there. On both sides, you have mirrored wardrobes. You'll see the hanging rods there. So you uh, have place to hang your clothes. It is taller than a lot of them too. A lot of times they'll just give you like a half wardrobe where, you know, they'll cut it off like right here to give you a, a bigger nightstand. I would much rather have a larger wardrobe because as you can see, they can extend the nightstands out quite a ways. You have electrical outlet and USB ports on there too. You also have storage going right across the top here, LED reading lights underneath. The door is kind of cool. It's a pivot style door. So what it, what, the way it shuts, it just kind of pivots right up top, just like this. The neat thing about that is, uh, well, there's a couple things. One, it doesn't matter which way you're coming or going. You don't have to play, you know, the, the door game where, so, you know, sometimes if you're entering the bedroom, you have to take a step back to get inside. Anyway, just makes it a lot easier. Also, you have windows on both sides, emergency exit in here, and there is TV hookups in the top corner if you want a TV in the bedroom. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Forest River Vibe 25 RKS. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle because rather than having to crank it up and down manually, you simply flip the rocker switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You will also see you have a light right outside just for some added visibility in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover and behind that yet a little bit further you have the rails for your battery. Another cool thing you'll notice is this one does have a battery disconnect right here so you can just flip that disconnect that way you kill all power to the coach that is fantastic especially when you're storing it for an extended period of time. Up above the diamond plating is a front three quarter cap. Uh, the reason it's a three quarter cap is because it doesn't truly wrap around to the sides but it does definitely make the unit look a lot nicer and add some extra insulation right up front because it has that air barrier there. So that way it does help better insulate the bedroom a little. Coming around to the side, you will see right down here is solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and that will trickle charge your battery. The pass-through compartment is magnetic, so you can put it up just like so. When you take a look in there, you will see that the door, the opening on the campsite is really large. It's definitely smaller on the off-door side. So if you have some bigger items like grills, larger chairs, things like that, you'll obviously want to load them up right here. Uh, you do have a switch in there for your lights for the front cap because there are some LED lights on there as well. You can also see the aluminum framing. This is a laminated unit, so it has the aluminum framing in there. You get, a, uh, again, a chance to see it in the pass-through. Making our way back a little bit further, power awning here, touch button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. LED light strip underneath that, uh, so that way you have light at night. You'll also notice two outside speakers. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can be right out here, be on your smartphone or whatever, and be able to somewhat control your music without having to go in and constantly mess with it. Also, you will notice TV hookup outside. So if you don't want to listen to music, you'd rather watch TV, here are the hookups for it. Cable outlet, electrical outlet right up above that. Obviously, you can use the electrical outlet for anything else you want to, but uh, the fact that you have that there is pretty great. 
Making our way back a little bit further, you will see that the axles here are basically a spread axle system. They sit further apart than uh, most of your RVs. That will help reduce the sway as you are traveling down the road. Also, you have aluminum alloy wheels there, which won't rust. The Solid Step by LCI, this is a fantastic step system. If you haven't seen it before, uh, what, what you'll notice is you know, I'm over 200 pounds. You can see I can bounce on this thing, it hardly moves. Unlike your traditional pull-out steps where after a while you kind of start to get the springboard effect, you don't have that here. Also, it has the aluminum treads, so that way those aren't going to rust out on you, and the grip tape to help you get a little extra traction in case it's wet or early in the morning, maybe there's some dew on there. That in conjunction with this foldable grab handle right here gives you excellent control when you are entering the RV. Making our way back a little bit further, we'll open this up. This is our little outside refrigerator space. So you have the refrigerator right here, perfect place to put your condiments, beverages, everything else you need in there. You'll also see you have a little freezer compartment right up top with tiny ice cube tray. So if you want to make yourself a little cocktail or something, you have the ability to do that. Right underneath that is a wash basin. So it's not uh, plumbed or anything. You just take this out and dump it. You'll also see the spray port right there. So you just hook this guy up right there. So that's how you get uh, the water access outside. Coming back a little bit further yet, if we take a look at the back of the RV here, you'll see the square tubular bumper with end caps. You can take those end caps off. That'll give you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Your cable and satellite inlets are also back here and mounted to that bumper is your spare tire with a cover. Great thing about this folks, not only is it cool and stylish with the name on the back, uh, but much more importantly, it's easy to access. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees or anything to get the spare tire and the cover does help keep it in better shape. You'll see your city water inlet is located right back here, a black tank flush right next to that. So that way, instead of sticking a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you just hook it up right here. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access on the back. 30 amp detachable power cord plugs in right there. Up top, you'll see backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having that prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. And lastly, your freshwater inlet is on the off door side, up front in front of the slide. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Forest River Vibe 25 RKS. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.